Okay, so we're doing peel and stick flashings on a two ply Suprema roof. Uh, so come get closer. So what we're gonna do is we have the base done. This is the base, we have it primed around the chimney. I wanna go uh, four inches past on this side, four on the other side. So just gonna trim it down. The way I like to do it, is I'm gonna set this just below where my cap sheet's gonna be. So cap sheet's gonna come here, rig lift for metals there. So the base about an inch below. And I just wanna find my fold line. So because this primer is dry, I'm allowed to do that. So I got my fold line, which is very important. Take the whole piece off. We're gonna keep it pinched. And we're gonna set it in the angle change like we were doing, same as a uh, torch down flashing. You're gonna run it up starting in the middle. Work your way to the sides to get the wrinkles out. So same as if you were torching, we're gonna go to the corner. Light it up on an angle, wrap that around, push that down. Same on the other side. And the last thing we're gonna do is take our pressure roller. Because we have a seam here from the flat, we're really gonna concentrate, make sure that is rolled in tight. One thing you don't want to do is take the edge of this roller and get it right in the angle change because if you get too much pressure in there, it'll rip it. Okay, so that is the front piece and the next we're going to start doing the side pieces. So now we're going to do the side piece of our chimney or curb. So first piece is done. Okay, so we're going to prime and we're going to, whoop, a little high. Sorry, that comes off later, metal guys. <laughs> Here, as best we can. Okay, so we always got to prime our whole area. Okay, this is a tricky one to get close. So we have to allow for this to wrap around that back wall, tucked up under the siding. So we're going to give it a little three inch fold there. And then we want to come in line with our first flashing. We're just going to cut it here. So that's gonna be our piece. Now we're gonna do the same technique. We're gonna get it in place where we want it. It's gonna be a little bit tapered because the roof tapers. You can also do this with a tape measure if you want. I just find this way quicker. So here's gonna be our fold line. And now the trick on this one, there's our fold line there. We don't, this is a little big. So what I'm gonna do is cut it right along there so it's a little straighter. And then, fold lines there. So on the inside, if we leave it like this, we're gonna have to try and fold this corner. It's gonna be real funky. So what we're gonna do is take the cross section of our side fold and our flat fold we're gonna cut just off angle towards us, and then we're gonna cut on a uh, 45 up, or less. Actually, less than 45. Water tight. We want a little tab. So that tab, I fold this before we put it in. That tab's gonna go around the corner like this, and then our next piece will come straight in line with it. So we got rid of this piece, this piece folding up. You can do it that way. It's very, very difficult in a tight space and you end up getting this all stuck on itself. So we're gonna take that out. Don't worry about it. All right, so same thing, back to it. Um, I'm gonna take off everything. That's what I do, other people do it differently. I'm gonna keep it folded. I'm also gonna keep this tab folded in and then I'm gonna fold it down. You don't want the sticky side touching the sticky side. So I just come up top a little bit so you can see yep. how I'm setting it. So our inside corner is the most important. So that's what I'm gonna float on the inside corner. I'm just gonna let the rest lay in there. And that's about perfect. So same thing, we're gonna start from the middle. Work our way to the wall. Work our way forward. There we go. Don't be afraid. Use some tools. Get this up a little higher. There 
go. We got a little gap just to slide that in. There we go. Never give up. You just keep going. All right. Okay, so as you can see, we're wrapped around the corner, nice and high. Uh, we're gonna do a, new, do a new trim here, so don't worry about that ugly cut. We're gonna make it look pretty again. This is our sidewall top piece, and now we're gonna come back down here, and we're gonna cut it the same way. We're gonna tab around. For this, we're just gonna tab around a few inches, so we're gonna go over and up. We don't need a giant tab there. And then on this piece, I'm just gonna cut off the excess. So it looks super nice, it's really clean. Last thing we're gonna do is roll it. And one way to avoid cutting into that corner is just rolling into it. All right, and that is the side piece of a chimney in peel and stick base.